Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use the title command in Java Edition. Now, yes, I will be doing a updated Bedrock video. I will leave that in the description as well. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do every single command, including the title, action bar, subtitle, and also, if you can see behind me, how to add colors to your text and make them bold, italics, etc. So you can customize them a whole heap. Now, this will not work on Bedrock Edition. As I said before, I will do an updated video and make sure you listen to each one of these commands as they are all very important. So let's start off with the first command. Now this is the title command. So as you can see, when I click the button, you can see that this, it says, hello, this is a title. Now, if I show you the command, this is the basic structure for the command. So there are, I think, five different types of, sorry, six of them. So we've got action bar, clear, reset, subtitle, times, and title. So the basic one is title. As you can see, it's got the basic command structure. So we've got title, then we want a target. So I did myself under my cap and then you want to do titles. So this is the basic. Now, please note if you are doing any text of any sort, you have to use quotation marks. And I don't know why it doesn't work if you don't use them. If you don't use quotation marks, it, it just won't work. So you can see uh, if I do hello, you can see it says hello. Whereas if I did, let's say hello without these quotation marks. So you can see it's gone red, that means not good. You can see that there's some sort of uh, syntax error. There's some sort of syntax error that pops up, which we don't want. Now, as you saw, that's the basic command. If you did want to add special colors to your title, as you can see here, this text is blue with bold and italics. It gets a little bit complicated, but it's not too hard. So uh, let me copy this to uh, my command line. So you can see it's got the basic title thing, except you have to do a little bit more. So let's talk you through this. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to do a squiggly bracket and you want to type in text in quotation. Now, after you do this, you want to do a colon. Now make sure it's not one of these colons with like a little line. You want the double dotted colon and then whatever text you like. So I'm going to do a little space here and I'm going to do uh, hello. That's kind of the classic little thing you do. Uh, then you want to do, you know, your little argument. So do we want it to be bold? If we do, if we do want it to be bold, all you have to do is this. Now you can close it off here if you did want. This just means it's going to stay bold. Uh, if you did want to add italics, then all you have to do is simply add a comma, and then you do italics. So I T A I C do this and true. So you can see now we've got italics. Now the really useful one, which is color, which we all want. We can all agree if we want color. Basically, what you want to do is you want to do the quotation marks like this. And you want to simply type C O L O R color. Now do a space colon, and you can put in whatever color you like. So I'm going to do, uh, let's say blue, and you can see I get blue. Now you've probably seen subtitles before. They're the little text that goes underneath. So as you can see, nothing happens, but you can see that there's a little bit of text that appears underneath. That's the subtitle. Now if you didn't notice just then, when I was clicking this, it didn't show it, and that's because the title command has to be played with the subtitle. So you set a different subtitle for your title. So you can see that it only shows up with the title. And the subtitle command is very similar to the title command. It's title slash title, then your name or, you know, at A, at S, at P, uh, subtitle, and then your text with the quotation marks. Remember these little lines, they're like really important. Now, if the text is just appearing forever, which honestly, I think the default is quite a long time, then you can actually change it with the times command. So basically, if I went into here and I did title at s times, so when you do this, you get no other prompts, and that's because it's kind of open ended. So basically, there are three different numbers. You can see I've got a yellow, a green, and a purple. Basically, the yellow stands for, or if I go back, fade in. The next one stands for stay, and the next one stays stands for fade out time. So now you can see that these are all represented by ticks. So you can see that. The far one is 10 ticks. If I did this one, let's say 20 ticks and fade out 20 ticks, you'll see a difference in time. So if I go back to, uh, let's say this one, you can see it took a little bit of time to fade in and it took a long time to fade out. Now you can see if I did a long time to fade out, if I did 200 and I hit this, well, we're gonna be stuck here for a very long time. And that's where the other command clear comes in. So you can see this is still here and it's really annoying, but if I hit clear, magic, it's all gone. So clear makes sense. It just means you're going to clear what the title says for a player. It's just slash title, your character name and clear. Or as I said before, you can do at S, 
at P, at E, or at A. Now you're probably wondering what the difference between the reset and the clear command are. As I showed you before, clear simply clears the command from a player and reset will completely reset your title, subtitle, and timings for your titles. So an example is when I go to play just a normal title, remember this is not with the subtitle, you can see that it shows a title. If I use subtitle, you can see that the subtitle will always show up with my character. However, when I go to reset, you can see that it clears it. And when I play it, the subtitle is no longer there. So reset simply just resets the whole command, resets the timings and everything. And you can see that the title didn't fade out for as long as uh, before. So I'll try to show like a comparison uh, right now. Uh, you'll probably be seeing the slow fade out from when it wasn't resetted to the default one right now. Oh yes, we cannot forget about the action bar. So the action bar, like the title, like the subtitle, basically just shows the title at the very bottom of your screen. So you can see that it says this is an action bar and you get it, it says title at a action bar. So you can see if I go title at a and select action bar, type in whatever I want. Remembering to keep the quotation marks. Remember to keep those because you don't want to lose those. And you can see it pops up down the bottom. That's about it for the video. I'm in perfect time for a sunset in Minecraft. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I will be making a updated bedrock version of this. So stay tuned. I will put the link in the description as soon as it's been done. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See ya.